We are back for a reaction to the Arkansas Derby. Trust the Profits is proud to be sponsored by Game of Silks. Go to silks.io to get in the game. Real ownership, real races, real rewards. Sure, bad cop. Hey, Riders Up Tim here, back uh, with a look at the Arkansas Derby about to go off. We just hit zero minutes to post. The horses are headed to the gate. Uh, just a quick look at the odds. We've got uh, Timberlake with favoritism right now. It looks like uh, I believe he is still holding at eight to five. Uh, we've got the seven horse is Muth. The Bob Baffert trained Muth is two to one. And then you've got the nine horse, which is Mystic Dan at three to one. Really interesting here as, uh, as Bob Baffert comes in with a, another try at taking away some derby points uh, since he is, uh, again, not eligible for the Kentucky Derby. Uh, Muth has been one of his best runners for sure, already has uh, derby points. But uh, in this race, uh, I, I really like Timberlake in this spot. I know it's pretty chalky. I've been chalky today. But I just think that the primary reason for that is that I have said from the beginning uh, that these are a couple of the horses I think are some of the best horses in the entire derby preps this year uh that being fierceness and timberlake so fierceness just came through in the florida derby let's see what uh, timberlake does here but uh, looks really good horse has been working well coming up here but i i think that uh unlike in the last race where i thought fierceness was just much the best while i like timberlake in this race it would not surprise me to see muth win this race I think Muth has a valid chance at winning. Uh, same thing for Mystic Dan. Mystic Dan has a great opportunity to win the race. Uh, but uh, there's a horse that I don't think as many people are talking about, and that is the five horse liberal arts. Uh, I've seen a couple of people picking this horse. I, I like Tyler Gaffleon getting up on liberal arts. I, I think this is a horse that with a, a step forward can definitely uh, be uh, much more of a, a factor in the race and, and could potentially finish in the exact, if not win straight out. But really, I, I look for uh, Timberlake to finish on top. And my picks for this race would be two, five, seven, and nine, two, five, seven, nine. That's the way I see it. And it looks like we are headed to the gate. Full uh, field of 10 horses here. We're going uh, nine furlongs, going a mile and an eighth here. And uh, the purse is $1.5 million for this year's Arkansas Derby. And let's see if uh, Timberlake and Brad Cox can get Cox's third Arkansas Derby in a row. Flavian Pratt gets the ride. And uh, if you're not keeping track of uh, who's winning most of the graded stakes this year, Flavian Pratt's at the top of that list. So, uh, when it comes to uh, jockeys winning this year, Flavian Pratt has more graded stakes uh, wins than any other jockey. Second on that list is the jockey of your five horse, Tyler Gaffleon. We continue to load up. Looks like we've got about three more to go in. Horses look nice and settled. Professional group of three-year-olds in the gate. Looks like we're already in there away. A little bit uh, of an inside uh, bounce for the four horse time for truth as he jumped out to the lead. You uh, do have Muth there going uh, outside that one. A little further out is Just Steel uh, in third place. Down inside Just Steel on the rail is Timberlake. Uh, Going to take up fourth position in between horses there. That's informed Patriot. Uh, but up front on the lead right now, you've still got the four horse time for truth. Uh, the two horse Timberlake, uh, Bobby and Pratt said he could wait no more and just shot that gap between the two horses and went right to the lead. Just outside that one is Muth. And these two are going to go at each other. Uh, Timberlake is going to put about a neck in front right now. Muth is still setting a comfortable ride just outside that one, about a half length back of Timberlake. Just in behind those, Time for Truth is still inside uh, between those two horses in third. On the outside there, that looks like Just Steel. Coming up the rail, you've got Dymatic 
uh, in behind those horses will take it looks to be making a bit of a run uh, outside that one that's informed Patriots still steady but up front the two and the seven Timberlake Muth starts to put a neck in front. They went to the quarter and 23, the half in 47 and two. They did three quarters and one, 12 and one. And Muth puts a nose in front, going to challenge Timberlake. Timberlake is going to have to prove to be much the best to come back on Muth here. Timberlake is going to fight back on the rail, but it looks like Muth and Bob Baffert are going to take some more Kentucky Derby points away from Churchill Downs and the Kentucky Derby. Timberlake just does not have it today. You've got Just Steele running a big race coming up on Muth in, in second place, but it's going to be all Muth for the win. In second place, you did have Just Steele. Mystic Dan gets up for third, and Timberlake finishes a disappointing fourth in that race. Wow. There you have it, folks. I know we've, uh, we've put out a couple of videos and talked about it a couple of times this year. Uh, we have felt all year long that Bob Baffert had an excellent crop of three-year-olds this year, maybe some uh, of the best, if not the best three-year-olds, and he's got at least three or four of them. And you look uh, at the point standings, if his horses were getting points, he's probably got at least four horses in the Derby right now. Uh, so disappointing that he's not going to be able to run and we're not going to get to see these horses, but uh uh, there are more points that are going away. They go off the table. They do not go to the second place finisher. Those points are gone. Muth has been a really good horse all year, done really well, and I'm not surprised with the win. It's one I said that I thought could easily win the race. I, I was on Timberlake, um, but... That, that does not surprise me. Uh, more surprising than Muth winning was Timberlake uh, kind of fading and finishing a, a pretty soundly beaten fourth. Big uh, big race by uh, Just Steele, though. You like to see the coach uh, getting more points there. Looks like uh, Mystic Dan did finish strong. I'm trying to see. There he is. Uh, Liberal Arts was back in, I believe, sixth place. I expected more out of that horse. <clears throat> But really big run from Muth. Let's wait and see it go official here. Official. One forty nine point five four seconds. Honest fractions. Decent race. Timberlake and uh, Muth went at it for a little bit down the back straight, uh, back straight. But when when Muth tipped out at the top of the stretch, Timberlake had uh, had nothing left. Comfortable win for Bob Baffert, Juan Hernandez, getting Muth up for the win. It's going to make a a lot of the X verse horse racing X very happy. Seeing Bob Baffert take more points. Love to hear in the comments uh, what you guys thought and uh, how many people thought uh, Muth. What do you what do you think about Bob Baffert and and the points he's taken and his horses? I mean, think what you will about Bob Baffert, but uh, let, let's talk about the horses. OK, he's got a great crop of three year olds this year, and I think it's disappointing. Wouldn't surprise me if he's got four runners in the Preakness. It's going to be interesting after the Derby to see how the rest of the three year old campaign plays out this year. <clears throat> great race by Muth. Can't take anything away from the connections. A nice 32 to one on just deal for second. That exact is going to pay well, even with Mystic Dan getting up for third, with the even money Timberlake finishing out of the money in fourth. Nice payouts all around. Taking a bit to go official here, but I think it's all a formality.
not wanting any part of the flowers, that's okay. Getting a big paycheck in the $1.5 million Arkansas Derby. Hats off to the connections of Muth. Just deal with the second. Mystic Dan gets third and Timberlake gets fourth. Tune in next week as we're back with more preps here at Trust the Prophets.